Okay. Uh, which of the following is most likely to be observed on electromyography? So we're going to shock some muscles, see what happens. 42-year-old sure. woman comes to the physician complaining of difficulty walking and frequent falls. It's been going on for a year. Uh, she reports weakness in her legs and feet. On exam, there's significant muscle atrophy in both lower limbs, particularly in the distal muscles. Muscle tone is decreased, and deep tendon reflexes are absent. Sensation is preserved. So it's asking us what we're going to see on our electromyography. Let's see. I don't really know what this diagnosis is going to be. We just see like just a lot of muscle atrophy, maybe some kind of like a muscular dystrophy. Okay. Uh, let's see. So decreased motor unit action potential amplitude versus increased. We have increased motor unit action potential duration. I think your duration, that's usually like your Lambert Eaton, which doesn't really fit this picture. Um, normal motor unit action potential or rapid firing. Let's see. This one's tricky. Yeah, no, for sure. I think I think you're doing a good job trying to relate the answer choices to a diagnosis. You always want to try to, you know, come up with a diagnosis as best as you can. Mm -hmm. But in this question, right, this is kind of tricky. Um, for me, even I can, to be honest, I cannot remember this question. Um, it's kind of like you said, it's kind of tricky. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of work through it with you, right? So mm -hmm. you know, middle-aged woman, right? Difficulty walking, falling, right? Weakness in her legs and her feet, significant muscle atrophy, meaning that, you know, um, it seems like nerve endings and nerve firing is not really there. And it kind of, um, they kind of bolster that by saying she has muscle atrophy. So the muscle, if it's not getting stimulated then you're going to lose, um, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? That's how your body works, yeah. right? So, um, she's losing muscle. And then obviously her muscle tones decrease, which makes sense because there's no signal there. And then also mm -hmm. her reflex is absent too, which, you know, that means that in my mind, something's wrong on the circuit of your spinal cord out, right? Because your deep yeah. tendon reflexes deal with kind of a reflex arc through your spinal cord. So I'm putting all this in my mind, right? But for some mm -hmm. reason, your sensation is okay. So your cutaneous nerves are okay, but your motor fiber is not. But other than that, that's kind of mentally kind of how I'm working through it, right? Um, so which one do you think we can get rid of? Um, probably get rid of their normal yeah. motor unit I mean, action potential. Yeah, for that me. That doesn't like, seem to make any sense. Yeah, for sure. And then I'm kind of like, eh, now all this stuff is starting to look a little bit gibberish to me. Mm -hmm. Um, so in this instance, right, just for learning sakes and kind of, you know, to use, um, the little feature that we have here. So we can use the hint button up here and kind of see you know, what we're left with here. So now we have two things, right? Decreased motor unit action, potential amplitude and rapid firing of motor units. 50-50 um, here, what would you go with? Um, I think just test taking wise, I'm gonna go decreased motor unit because we have another answer choice that is so similar. Sure, sure. So let's go with that. Okay, so let's read the explanation, right? To me, it makes sense, right? I mean, decreased motor action unit um, potential amplitude, meaning that it's not really firing, right? Yeah. So um, let's see, weakness, leg atrophy, limbs, muscle tone, deep acetonation, uh, consistent with a lower, lower motor neuron lesion, right? Could I have okay. guessed that? Nah, I mean, I knew, you know, we've located it somewhere along this chain, right? Like the reflex yeah. arts and stuff, but would that be the first thing that comes to my mind? Un unlikely, but I know it's something in the chain. Right. Uh, the lower motor neurons, right? Uh, EMG typically show decreased motor neuron action potential amplitude due to loss of motor neurons and subcutaneous motor atrophy. Okay. So it makes sense, right? It fits this, right? Mm -hmm. um, the rest, right? Like I said, normal, not going to be good, right? Rapid firing. So these are learning points, right? Because of course, right? We have lots to learn here, right? So yeah. rapid firing of motor neurons, right? Just remember that's going to be an upper motor neuron lesion. Right. So so it's going to give you spasticity, which makes sense. Right. Okay. You're passing out more instead of being flaccid. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Right. So for the next question. Right. You want to try every question when you get it right or you get struggle. You want to get more than just this topic. Right. You want to get a little bit more out of it so that you don't miss mm -hmm. similar questions. Um, 
increased motor uh, unit action potential duration, myopathies, which are primary muscle disorders rather than lower motor lesions discussed by the patient. Okay, so didn't know that either, right? And then increased motor, uh, motor man, that is like tongue twisters. Increased motor <laughs> unit action potential amplitude is seen in early stages of myopathy where there's muscle fiber hypertrophy to compensate for the loss of other muscle fibers. So, okay, cool. Okay. Good things to know. Um, obviously, this question is a little bit more difficult for sure. Mm -hmm. All right.